How did the Treaty of Kanagawa open Japan to international trade? The Treaty of Kanagawa, signed on March 31, 1854, was a pivotal event in Japanese history that marked the end of Japan's policy of isolation and opened the country to international trade. Here's a detailed history of the events leading up to the treaty and its aftermath. 1. Sokoku Policy and Japan's Isolation for over two centuries, from the early 1600s, Japan implemented a policy known as the Sokoku, which aimed to restrict foreign influence and maintain domestic stability. During this period, Japan banned most foreign trade and severely limited contact with the outside world, allowing only limited trade with the Dutch and Chinese through the port of Nagasaki. 2. Arrival of Commodore Matthew Perry in 1853, Commodore Matthew Perry of the United States Navy arrived in Japan with a fleet of warships. His objective was to negotiate a treaty that would secure provisions and facilities for American ships visiting Japan, as well as establish diplomatic relations. 3. Perry's First Visit and the Treaty of Kanagawa on July 8, 1853, Perry's fleet entered Edo Bay, now Tokyo Bay, and anchored near the village of Uraga. The Japanese government, shocked by the display of American military power, initially refused to negotiate. However, after Perry threatened to use force, the Japanese agreed to receive his letter addressed to the Emperor of Japan. Perry returned to the United States, promising to return the following year for a response. 4. Harris Expedition and the Treaty Negotiations In February 1854, Perry returned to Japan with a larger fleet for a second visit. This time, he was accompanied by Townsend Harris, the first U. Consul General to Japan Harris was tasked with negotiating a treaty that would open Japan to international trade. After months of negotiations, the Treaty of Kanagawa was signed on March 31, 1854, between the United States and Japan. 5. Terms of the Treaty The Treaty of Kanagawa had several key provisions. A. Uh, opening of ports, Japan agreed to open two ports, Shimoda and Hakodate, for American ships to obtain supplies, coal, and water. B. Consular relations, the treaty allowed for the establishment of American consulates in Japan, providing protection and support for American citizens. C. Extraterritoriality, the treaty granted extraterritorial rights to American citizens in Japan, meaning they would be subject to American law instead of Japanese law. D. Trade and Tariffs The treaty established limited trade relations between the two nations and provided for the negotiation of a more comprehensive treaty in the future. 6. Impact and Aftermath The Treaty of Kanagawa had a profound impact on Japan's trajectory. Unequal treaties. Following the signing of the treaty, other Western powers, such as the United Kingdom, Russia, and France, also sought to establish trade relations with Japan, leading to a series of unequal treaties that further opened Japan to international trade. End of isolation. The treaty marked the beginning of the end of Japan's isolationist policies and set the stage for the Meiji Restoration in 1868, a period of rapid modernization and westernization in Japan. Influence on Japanese society, the influx of foreign ideas, technology, and culture through increased trade had a significant impact on Japanese society, leading to social, economic, and political transformations. The Treaty of Kanagawa played a crucial role in ending Japan's isolation and setting the stage for its emergence as a modern, industrialized nation in the following decades.
Thanks for watching, please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.